Easter is the celebration of Jesus' triumph over death. The message of Easter is, it is always possible to begin anew, because there is always a new life that God can awaken in us in spite of all our failures. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Paul reached also Derby and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through the Phrygian and Galatian territory because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried to go on into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them, so they crossed through Mysia and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. Responsorial Psalm, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord all you lands, serve the Lord with gladness, come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God, he made us, his we are, his people the flock he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good, His kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to His disciples, If the world hates you, Realize that it hated me first. If you belong to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecute me, they will also persecute you. And if they kept my word, they will also keep yours, and they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. What does Jesus mean when he says, you are not of this world? The world in scripture refers to that society of people who are hostile towards God and opposed to his will. The world rejected the Lord Jesus and treated him with contempt, and his disciples can expect the same treatment. The Lord Jesus leaves no middle ground for his followers. We are either for him or against him for his kingdom of light and truth, or for the kingdom of darkness and deception. 
The prophet Isaiah warned that people who separate themselves from God because of their rebellious pride and spiritual blindness would end up calling evil good and good evil. If we want to live in the light of God's truth, how can we rightly distinguish good from evil and truth from deception? True love of God and His ways draw us to all that is lovely, truth, and good. If we truly love God, then we will submit to His truth and obey His word. A friend of God cannot expect to be a friend of the world because the world is opposed to God's truth and way of righteousness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may the fire of your love fill my heart with an eagerness to please you in all things. May there be no rivals to my love and devotion to you, who are my all. Amen.